Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to another one of our Franchise Fest chats with one of the speakers at this year's event. And today I'm joined by Theo Millward of Swim Time, who is going to tell us a bit about himself, a bit about what he's talking about at Franchise Fest as well. So, yeah, if you'd like to introduce yourself, Theo. Wonderful. Thanks, Adam. So, yes, I'm Theo. Um, I bought Swim Time about three and a half years ago now uh, from the founders. So the business has been going about 20, ooh, 21 years now. Um, and we've been transforming the business over the last three years, uh, focusing on, uh, on mainly our technology, but also in terms of uh, how to position the brand and the business uh, more broadly. So it's been a really exciting transformation. Uh, lots of tales of success, few tales of, of honest failure and feedback. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that story with you all and, and hopefully we can, we can all learn. Amazing. I think we met a couple of years ago and um, you were telling me about your kind of journey since buying Swim Time and uh, essentially, the, you know, the changes you've made. So much of it's been around innovation, really, and, and technology, which is, I think, a really not unique story, but quite an exciting story for the franchise world. Uh, what, what are the kind of key things that you've done within the business since, since joining? Yeah, I think I, I probably use the word extreme, I'm not necessarily in a negative sense, but we've kind of go, gone from one end of the spectrum to the other and, and pretty much about as, as far as you could go. Um, largely from a, a paper-based business to, to a, a paperless business model. Um, we're now to the stage where, you know, we're looking at things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, quite clever algorithms where essentially that the computer system can run large parts of the business, uh, which is, it, it's really exciting. It really excites me, but also it's a great opportunity to our franchisees to improve their margins and, and have more successful businesses. But it's really important to say that we're ultimately a people business. And I think perhaps a lot of franchisors who might be coming to this event might associate technology with certain maybe B2B businesses or process businesses. We're in the learn to swim game. So we teach children a vital life skill. And yes, the relationship between the teacher and the student is absolutely everything. But that doesn't mean we can't use technology to build a really great profitable business uh, and to really innovate the franchise proposition. And so that's why I think it'll just be really interesting for us to sort of share how we've gone through that step by step and what it actually means. And I can actually share some practical examples where, you know, for example, how we how we collect monies off, off clients who maybe are a little bit stubborn to, to put their hand in the, in the pocket and, and pay what they owe. How we've used technology to really help that and ultimately improve the cash flow for our franchisees. So, yeah, it should be good. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to hearing um, the talk, especially from a, a franchisor point of view, talking to other franchisors about the kind of journey. So what, what are the key things that you're looking to cover at Franchise Fest in your talk in terms of what franchisors can learn from what you've been through, really? Yeah, I think for me, really, it's about sharing the stories because one, one of the things that I've really enjoyed by getting in the, in the franchise community is, is how we all share and learn from each other because we have a common way of approaching businesses, or, although they are obviously certainly in, in different sectors. So it's actually just sharing that, you know what, you, you can take a different approach. And yes, there's things that don't go as well as you like, but also there's things that go really, really well. Um, so for me, it's kind of how we've, we've used sort of a really strong vision and a strong culture to sort of push through that change, which I think can be a bit daunting for people. And, and I certainly found it daunting and at times marginally terrifying. Um, but look, it's, it's ended up being really successful and, and it's, yeah, it's just been a really amazing story. And I just, just to share that, I'm just hoping to maybe fire some people up who might just be on the edge of making those tough decisions to actually give them the confidence that, you know what, if you dig deep and, and really believe in it, then it can work for you. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose with franchising, what's even more challenging about being that innovative is that it's not only taking your business, you know, to the next level, it's also taking all the franchisees with you on that journey too. So that, that must have been a big challenge, but something which you've got a lot of experience in over the last few years. Yeah, no, it was a challenge, but do you know what? That some of the some of the, the nicest stories we have is that we've managed to bring through people who were with, with the business from day one, right through to, to some new entrants. So it's not it's not a case of you know you churn your entire network over, um, or it only works for those who've got 10, 20 years experience. We've managed to bring a wide range of people with us on the journey, including um, a family member family member, sorry, of, of the founder, which I think is probably one of the most amazing things. So genuinely, a family member of the founder is still with the business through that transition. Uh, and, and she's, you know, a really positive member of our network. So I, I don't think you can get a better stamp of approval than that. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. I think it's going to be an amazing story. And I, I really think um, 
I, I certainly loved hearing it when you first told me many elements of it. And I think franchisors will, will love to hear it as well. So really looking forward to it. Um, awesome. Last question to ask, which I've asked um, all of the people I've spoken to, have you been to a festival before? No, sort of, not really. I, I did go to one in Switzerland once, um, a music festival on top of a hill. Um, there was a lot of snow and alcohol involved. I mean, we are going to be in November, so you don't know. It could be a bit weird, but, but no, nothing quite like this. I'm, I'm very excited. Oh, actually, I think everyone I've spoken to so far haven't been to a festival yet, so uh, it should be good. There you go. <laughs> uh, thank you, Theo. Thanks for joining me, and um, we'll see you at Franchise Fest. Awesome. Look forward to it.